In this video, we will demonstrate the setup and the gas purging process for the Atatel 925 and 927 hydraulic test pumps. Both the preparation and the gas purging process are the same for the Atatel 925 and 927 pumps. We will be showing the Atatel 927 pump in this video. However, the instructions are exactly the same for the 925. To fill the pump with fluid, we must first remove the reservoir lid. To do this, unscrew the reservoir release valve, then use a wrench to remove the nut that holds the release valve. Now the cover can be easily removed. We will want to add enough fluid until the clear liquid reservoir is about two-thirds full. Fluid poured into the reservoir tank will displace into the clear reservoir. This may take a few minutes to happen. Fluid may need to be added a second time to reach the appropriate level. Once we have the liquid reservoir two-thirds full, we can put the reservoir lid back on. We do this in reverse order of how we remove the lid. To produce stable and high pressure measurements using a hydraulic calibration pump, the gas within the calibration system needs to be removed. Hydraulic test pumps use various types of fluid to generate high pressures. Because gas is more compressible than liquid, purging most if not all the gas out of the system will allow for maximum pressures to be generated and the best ability to be realized. The first step is to securely connect the reference gauge to the pump. The device under test, or DUT, could also be connected but only if it is okay for the DUT to have a vacuum pulled on it. Next ensure the reservoir release valve on the top of the pump is open. Then close the vent valve and screw out the main screw press. You'll notice a slight vacuum being pulled on your reference gauge. The strength of the vacuum can be a good indicator of the amount of gas in the system. Now that we have a vacuum pulled on the system, we will open the vent valve and let fluid fill into the system. You'll notice this by the gauge settling to zero. Now with the vent valve left open, we will turn the main screw press all the way in. If you have gas still in the system, you will notice bubbles coming into the liquid reservoir. Particularly on the initial setup, where there's a lot of gas in the system, the process of pulling a vacuum and purging the gas out of the system will need to be repeated several times. Once you see a good vacuum being pulled and very few bubbles emerging in the liquid reservoir, then we are ready to start generating pressure. You should easily be able to generate full-scale pressures with less than half the stroke of the main screw press. For higher pressures, we need to use the high pressure or fine adjustment knob to generate the remaining pressures and dial into a cardinal point. At the high pressures, it may take a few minutes for the measurement to stabilize. Small adjustments using the fine adjustment knob may be needed to ensure that you achieve the cardinal point. Over time and use, the fluid in your pump will need to be changed. To do this, locate the drain valve at the bottom of the pump. It is helpful to tilt the pump in this manner to allow the fluid to drain into the clear reservoir, and then drain the fluid back into a container. We hope that you found this application video instructional and useful. For more information, please visit us at www.adatel.com.